everybody. Uh, Chef Chris Garnier here in Culinary 223 Contemporary Cuisine uh, at Leeward Community College Culinary Arts Program and we're actually back here at the garden. Uh, we're going to be introducing you to the compost and vermicast section of the garden and here we have Stacy. So hi. Hello Stacy. Uh, Stacy tell me a little bit about yourself. Well I'm in the plant and biotechnology and tropical agriculture program here at Leeward and we basically plant almost everything that's back here in the garden and we manage the vermicast over here as well. We'll show you guys the earth cube which is um, belonging to Nikki Davison who's one of the teachers for the PBT program here. Excellent. And, um, I've been going to Leeward for about three years now. I go part-time. Okay, okay, great. What is, okay, what does PBT stand for? Um, plant Biotechnology and Tropical Agriculture. So the program is mostly vocational, kind of similar to culinary. Okay. It also comes with an internship, so we help you, you know, fill out your resume and get wow. yourself out there. And almost everybody that does an internship gets a job from that place right afterwards. So it's a great program. Awesome. Very awesome. Okay, so uh, Stacy's going to introduce us to the uh, compost part. So let's go start. Take a look. Okay, so Professor Nikki set this up, right? Yes. Okay. So this is the Earth Cube. Um, I believe the general idea is to give the worms total darkness. Um, worms are very photosensitive, so they're not very productive when you expose them to light. Okay. So the idea is to keep them completely inside, and then um, as you can see, outside water will drain. This is called vermicast tea. It's very good for plants, and it can definitely boost them if they're kind of growing really slowly and just all kinds of things. Okay, <laughs> and then that starts uh, obviously with some of our, um, our trimmings. Yes. Of our vegetables only, right? Yes, vegetables only. Um, so, uh, up in the culinary lab, uh, we have Mike and Stacy and the rest of the group come and grab our uh, our uh, trimmings for compost uh, every Tuesdays. And basically, what um, what those trimmings are, everybody knows, is like uh, your ends and pieces of your celery, carrots, and onions for your mirepoix, uh, things that cannot be um, uh, served or uh, utilized, um, the cores of your bell peppers, uh, your peelings of your cucumbers and possibly maybe um, kabocha squash, butternut squash, everything like that. So it all comes down here. Uh, so say, let's say, why is it? So it's black obviously because yeah. you know sun. Right, exactly, okay. yeah. And then you're gonna explain to us, Stacy, um, what the worms actually do, do right? right? Okay, okay. <laughs> sure. All right. Um, so let's come over here and we'll see our other system that way you guys can kind of see how it works. So, inside. Oh, wait, which one is this one? The vermicast. Yes. Okay. So this is the vermicast. Um, so this is everything that's happening inside of the cube. So there's nothing different from what's happening. The only difference is the exposure to light. So mm. they get a little bit more light. Maybe a little bit more rain as well. Okay. And why is this paper? The paper is to provide moisture for them so that when it's dry, because you don't hand water them, so mm -hmm. they kind of need to keep the moisture in there. Okay. Worms breathe through water, so they need to be moist at all times in uh -huh. order for them to, you know, be alive. Right, because they shrivel up in the sun, right? Exactly, okay. yeah. So our, our food trimmings went in this compost. Yes. And then this one is just... Oh, so your food trimmings will go in both of these? Oh, go um, both. Okay, okay. Yeah, I know. Okay. So we'll remove the paper. Okay. And then we'll put your trimmings right inside here. Oh wow, look at that. Get, yeah. So this okay. is an entire ecosystem. And what the worms will do is slowly over time, mm -hmm. they'll just kind of eat it at their own pace and it'll turn into this really nice, dark vermicast stuff. Look at that. Stuff. Yeah, so here you go. Wow. So that's the mm -hmm. trimmings mm -hmm. and the paper and everything yeah. all broken down. Exactly, Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then from there, where does that go? This won't, it goes anywhere around the garden. Um, I don't think anywhere specifically. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, but um, mainly wow. um, we feed the worms once a week with um, your guys' trimmings. And okay. that's really as much as they need. It takes a while for them to break it down. But right. um, some things that take longer are more acidic things. So like lemons and tomatoes. See, yeah. 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 Okay. So those sort of things take much longer to break down. Onions too. Okay. Um, and then when it does take longer to break down, it stinks. But if you feed them the right foods, your vermicast is not supposed to stink. Hmm. I actually know people that keep smaller versions of this inside of their house under their sink. Wow. So, yeah, it's a really great system. And if you feed them the right foods, you won't even know they're there. Yeah. Now, where do you get the paper from? Um, Campus too? The paper comes from the business office, oh, I think. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll spread it up. So this is what it looks like when it comes up from our, well, 
an example. Yeah. You know, you guys grab the five gallon bucket. Mm -hmm. uh, this was a pico monsoy, you know, it's used for composting. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much, Stacey. That was great. Thank you. All right. Aloha. Aloha.